What is going on guys, Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about Tales of Tribute, which is the new card game being brought to the Elder Scrolls Online. Now I know a lot of players out there are in, uh, not really interested in this, kind of were disappointed considering this is one of the main focuses of the DLC this year. And a lot of people were hoping we're going to get a new weapon line, new you know class, something of that nature. But the Tales of Tribute card game definitely does tie into that MMO RPG style game. And I did make a video a few days ago talking about how I wish there were some uh, different games and you know table games and things you could do when you're in the taverns. You know, kind of make it more of a social style game. Now that I really want the Tales of Tribute to kind of be the, one of the main focuses this year, one of the big things brought to the game. No, but. That's just kind of is what it is. Now, I do think the Tales of Tribute does sound kind of interesting. It is a way that you can uh, grab, you know, kind of kind of, kind of a tank of mead, what it says, a tanker of mead, and kind of just hang around and either play against NPCs or against other real players. This is going to be a collectible card game that is played entirely within ESO, and it can be played anywhere as long as you're in a tavern. So if you can go up to a find a tavern anywhere in Tamriel, you can play against certain NPCs or you can play against other real players. Uh, the card game will feature a storyline that you can advance by challenging certain NPCs to the world in ESO, or you can play against other players, and it has its own ranking system as well. There will also be a way that you can kind of, if you're wanting to play against real players, uh, kind of a UI system that's the same as your dungeon finder or things of that nature, where you can just kind of uh, go in and, and you know search that and, and find someone to play against. Once you complete the tutorial, you'll find four starter decks. And that will get you into playing right away. And kind of as you progress through the game, you'll earn more cards, more decks, all that good stuff. Uh, the trail, uh, the Tales of Tribute card game, and it's kind of a resource building game is how they des uh, describe it, where both players work towards trying to reach the victory point goal. And you do a bunch of different things to get to that point. You can play a different, a bunch of different ways, really. It's kind of how Zoss describe it. Uh, you can also use your... Uh, patrons themselves to a curry favor to help you advance through it so it's all about strategy rather than combat essentially what you want to do is get a certain number of points gather the most resources before your opponent does and there will be possible rewards through tales of tribute games uh cosmetics furnishings gold crafty materials transmute stones and more and they also they said they want you to understand playing against someone who has really unlocked all the cards and upgrades you won't be at a disadvantage the decks of both players are shuffled together and both players play from the same common deck so i know a lot of people are kind of worried about you know if some players if you're playing a real person if they're better than you are or have you know more progression than you are through this uh is it really going to make you at a disadvantage and zasta they were trying to avoid that i do find it interesting that they're having cosmetics furnishings and all that kind of stuff unlockable within this a lot of stuff i know a lot of people out there will really want to get their hands on i'm curious to see what you know the the community's thoughts about the card game in general is like i said i know a lot of people in the community probably would have liked to have card games and and board games and table games and things uh, brought into the game i'm just not sure if they're wanting it as the main feature so leave me a comment with your thoughts kind of want to give you guys a brief overview of what the new game being brought to uh elder scrolls online was going to be and kind of give you some ideas of how you play it anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace